Hello and welcome to a new episode about XCOM 2. This time we present you three methods to enable modifications for XCOM 2. We will also tell you which we use and why, so stay tuned. XCOM 2 is a game that needs to be activated on Steam. This time modifications are explicitly supported and so the developers have made the Steam Workshop available for the game. The easiest way to install a modification for XCOM 2 is to open Steam, select XCOM 2, open the Workshop and select the desired modification. If you click on the subscribe button, the modification will be reserved for download and the next time you open the game launcher, the mod name will appear in the list. Here you have to activate the modification by clicking the checkbox. The Steam Workshop is convenient, but also has a major drawback. You have no control over modifications, meaning if a mod gets removed from the workshop, you can no longer use it and save games that use the mod may no longer work properly or at all. This is also the reason why we try to stay away from the workshop if alternatives are available. Another method to activate modifications for XCOM 2 is to do it manually, meaning the game detects a mod folder and enables mods listed therein. The first step is to create the mod folder. To do this, navigate to the main directory of the game and open the XCOM game folder. The main game is present in the Steam folder under Steam Apps Common XCOM 2 and that's where you can find the XCOM game folder, no matter where you save your Steam games. Here you create a new folder named Mods. The next step is to download a modification, for example on nexusmods.com. You can save the file in a separate place or you can put it directly in the mod folder. Most of the time, these mods come as an archive packed as zip, rar or 7-zip. The game doesn't accept archives however, so you will have to unpack the mods. Take a look in the archive to see if a main folder exists or not, then unzip the archive in a way the mod files are in a separate folder within the mod folder. In our example it looks like this. This is the method we prefer, because now we have full control over what version of a modification we want to use, regardless if it got changed or even deleted. There is a downside though, you have to keep track of mod updates yourself. XCOM 2 supports both the Steam Workshop and manually installed modifications. In order to combine the advantages of both methods, you can use third-party software. For example, a mod manager. In this example we show you the Nexus mod manager, which can organize modifications for many games, including XCOM 2. On the homepage nexusmods.com you can find the link to the installation file in the first line at the top. Download it and install it on your computer. After the manager tries to recognize supported games, he should also have XCOM 2 listed. If you open the program for the first time, you should see an empty window. Now you have two options. You can link to a modification you have already downloaded and saved. To do this, press the plus symbol and choose an archive, then open it. The mod will now be listed in the window. To activate it, click on the mod name and then press the green checkmark symbol. Alternatively, go to the nexusmods.com homepage, select a modification, call up the Files category and click on the Download with Manager button. 
If the Nexus Mod Manager is installed, it will show up in a list. Confirm new selection and the mod will be listed in the manager where you can activate it. This linked modification can also check for updates, an advantage over the manual method. The Nexus Mod Manager is a good compromise between control and comfort, especially if you want to use multiple modded games and have different mod configurations available, which you can switch by the press of a button. The video description has more information and links and don't forget to thank the modders for their work.